God, our source and ground of being. In you we live and move and exist. In your image we have been made. You celebrate the goodness of our humanity and call us to live fully and love deeply. Yet today we confess that in many ways we choose to live beneath our good humanness. In things we have done and things we have left undone, we have neglected our calling to be your image bearers to all of creation. We confess, Lord, we have dehumanized others by refusing to love them, by gossiping about them, and by making fun of them. We have dug our heels into us versus them thinking that makes it easy to condemn entire groups of people that we do not know. We have become reactionary, allowing fear to control us and dictate our actions. We have sought an eye for an eye instead of loving our enemies. We have closed our ears to the cries of the poor and oppressed, the immigrant, the refugee, the orphan, and the widow among us. We have been greedy, and in our lust for more, we have closed our eyes to all the opportunities to share out of our abundance with the hungry, the naked, and the stranger who are in need. We have failed to steward creation responsibly, thinking only of ourselves and not of future generations or the one who has gifted us such a beautiful world. And in the process, we have dehumanized ourselves. We have willingly defined ourselves as consumers and taken our identity and worth from how much money we have or what we possess, instead of grounding our identity in our calling to bear your image. We confess, Lord. We have been hypocritical, judgmental, and angry. All of these are destructive, not only to others, but also to ourselves. We have used our religion as a weapon of exclusion instead of building a bigger table for all. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts that are open. May it be so, Lord. May we live into the fullness of our humanity, the humanity that you called good. May we live with hands open in generosity toward God, our neighbor, and even our enemy. May we take seriously the call of Jesus to embrace our crosses instead of seeking crosses for our enemies. May we steward the earth and our brief lives here with gratitude and care. May we tune our hearts to the music of the Spirit following her lead as we take the next right step on our journey. May we live lives that imitate Jesus, being broken and poured in love for others. May we practice resurrection here and now. May we experience the full and abundant life 
to which Jesus invites us here and now. And everybody said, Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 1 through 7. But now, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offering from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Blessing the Dust All those days when you feel like dust, like dirt, as if all you had to do was turn your face toward the wind and be scattered to the four corners or swept away by the smallest breath and insubstantial. Did you not know? what the Holy One can do with dust. This is the day we freely say we are scorched. This is the hour we are marked by what has made it through the burning. This is the moment we ask for the blessing that lives within the ancient ashes that makes its home inside the soil of this sacred earth. So, let us be marked not for sorrow, and let us be marked not for shame, Let us be marked not for false humility or for thinking we are less than we are, but for claiming what God can do within the dust, within the dirt, within the stuff of which the world is made and the stars that blaze in our bones and the galaxies that spiral inside the smudge we bear.
May the blessing of God give us strength for this journey. May the spirit of wisdom give us vision for the road. May the love of Christ make us caring companions as together we go forth into the world. Amen.